Mondo the Moss from Dean, along with Hall of Fame coach Tony Hava, Ace, and Artie. And right now we are joined by Marshall Kaufman from King Promotions. And Marshall, first of all, congratulations on putting on a tremendous event that's going to take place on Friday. It is Ring Wars 9 happening at the El Paso County Coliseum. A couple of days away. I know the nerves a little about that when you're a promoter. Uh, it's, it's a little bit nerve-wracking a couple of days before, but first of all, thank you for bringing this event to El Paso. Well, thank you. I appreciate all the support that El Paso has given us, and uh, I appreciate you guys for these interviews. Now, let's talk about that. When you decide to bring, because you, you travel throughout the country, of course, with King's Promotions, so that means you travel the world to different places. What makes you pick a city, and why El Paso? Well, <clears throat> originally, uh, the reason for El Paso was my director of operations, James Bartley, uh, connected with Tovar Jr. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were on the phone with Tovar Sr. and discussing how he wanted to join uh, King's Promotions and, and become a part of our team. And he was telling us how the ticket sales are good down here and uh, there's a lot of support and whatnot. So, of course, we had to find out for ourselves. And I thought, well, if we come down there and the support's really not there, then we won't come back. Yeah. Okay. But we found out that the support really is yep. here. And so uh, it was great. And, of course, Stephanie Hahn yep. has a, a, a ton of support. So it was really it was really good. And uh, really uh, just good to see the people come out in El Paso in general to support their local boxers. Yeah, well, I was there uh, for for the previous uh, boxing match. And uh, I was surprised as well with, with, the, with the crowd and uh, right. the enthusiasm. As well, and yeah. and and the card, so you know, the competition what was also uh, pretty good. Do do you expect uh, to exceed those uh, uh, those levels on Friday night? Oh, look, like like anybody in business, you expect to do better each time. Sure. Okay. Uh, and as of right now, our numbers are definitely better than the last oh, time. Oh, good. So good. Uh, we're looking at a bigger crowd, um, and of course, we have more fights as well. Yeah. And look, when I tell you the first time was a trial and error. Uh, situation, not knowing the boxers here in El Paso, yep. mm -hmm. not knowing what their ability was in, in terms of fighting. Uh, so we had to, you know, feel things out. But this fight here, you're going to see very, very competitive fights. And, you know? of, of course, that main event, we got to talk about the main event. Of course, talk about Stephanie Hahn taking on Nicola Izoba and then also the co-main event uh, with Jorge Tovar versus Keith Lang King. Those are going to be some great matches there. Correct. Oh, without a doubt. Oh, look. You know, uh, you know, Tovar, uh, his last fight was really a learning experience when he went the distance for the first time. Yep. Fighting a southpaw for yep. the first time. Uh, I think it, it sort of exposed him a little bit. And so he realized that. And his father, of all people, was like, that's the best thing that could have ever happened to him. Yeah. You know, he's hungrier now. He's determined. Because when people put, when I say people, promoters or managers put, fighters in front of you that are going to lay down okay you don't gain anything from exactly it. there's no yep. there's no uh experience that comes from that uh you gain your experience in the ring in the gym but that that's really not enough let's be honest you know yep. uh the true experience comes as you're tested in the fight as you're tested in battle um and so i believe uh whole harley that he really was tested in that fight uh not so much from a physical standpoint, but from a mental standpoint more than anything. True. And so, look, you know what we did? Instead of taking a step back, we took a step ahead. Yep. <laughs> and he's fighting a tough kid yes. in Keithlin King. Yep. You know, five and one. I think Keithlin might have five knockouts. Or yeah, four, you are correct. Right you are correct. And uh, tough competitor. Uh, so, and he said yes. Not once did he say Oh, I'm not ready for a tough fight like that because I just had a tough yeah. one. No, they said yes. And, and we just talked to him. He's very excited about the challenge, yeah, yeah, no yeah. doubt there. So yeah. now, of course, Stephanie, that fight's going to be as, as a good one as well for Stephanie Correct. Hahn. Correct. Stephanie, uh, you know, women's boxing is a little different. It's hard uh, always finding uh, opponents, tough opponents, yep. because uh, tough opponents that you can grow from and learn from as well. Because women, if there's, if there's 100 men, there might be 10 women. Correct. You know what I mean? In the sport of boxing. So yeah. that's the difference as far as the ratio goes. But uh, Stephanie has a fight. She has to get through Friday night against uh, Nicola, who's 3-2. and two. And um, I believe Stephanie's going, you know, 
uh, get through it uh, with ease. Uh, Stephanie's growing and she'll continue to grow. You know, she was inactive there for a little yep, bit. She told us and, about and, that. And we're going we're going to keep her active. She's also scheduled to fight one month later in Pennsylvania as well. Um, so I have her on my card in Pennsylvania. So the activity is important for these yep, uh, boxers, right. you know. Um, and then um, so that's going to be uh, good for her. And of course, Stephanie comes with. A huge fan base. Speaking as of well. Stephanie, just <laughs> yeah, walked out yeah, the door. Right. So. And she comes with a huge fan base as well. Oh yes, uh, which we love. You know, I mean, I mean, she's 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 loved here. Yes, you can, you can tell yep. without yeah. a doubt. And of course, she comes from a long lineage of a boxer. She from yes. El Paso, her sister yeah. Jennifer, and of course her brother AB as well. Correct. I didn't know about her brother. Really? Oh yeah, oh, wow. AB okay. Hunt as well. Fought <laughs> professionally as well. So yep. now let's talk about Marshall Kaufman. How did you get involved in the sport of boxing? Wow. Okay. Because yeah, talk, you're, you're talking about everybody, but now I got to know uh, we're, something we're, about we're you, gonna, my man. We're going to go back. We yeah. are going to go back. <laughs> okay. Uh, 1981. Okay. okay. That's not that far behind. Uh, yeah. it's, it's a long time, it seems like. But, <laughs> you know, I, I, I grew up in the inner city. Yep. Uh, what city? Reading, Pennsylvania. Okay. And so uh, I grew up in a predominantly black and Hispanic area. Okay. Uh, here I was a white boy in that town, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, but we used to, you know, have a lot of fun slap boxing with my friends yeah. a lot and uh, come to find out that my uncle had his own boxing gym. And so uh, he said, "Hey, why don't you come over and start boxing?" And I was like, I don't, I don't know. But so I said to my one friend, you know, as your friends, you play basketball together, you play football sure. together, you yeah. do everything together. And so a friend of mine went over there. We started boxing and we learned and we just fell in love with the sport. And, you know, I got in tremendous shape. I, you know, I went from probably 210 pounds at that time. No, I was probably even heavier down to 160 pounds. Wow. So, so you know, it was it was great. I was in tremendous shape. And, uh and so I just, I fell in love with it. But then I had a little bump in the road. Uh, in uh, 1983, uh, I ended up going to prison for nine months. And so that was my bump in the road. Because when I was 18, uh, before I, I started boxing that, uh, I ended up uh, selling some marijuana and got in trouble for it. And, you know, one of those lessons where yeah, yeah. being hard-headed, I learned. We all make mistakes. Yeah, exactly. So, and I'm not afraid to talk about it because it's what changed my life. Correct. You know, so it's, uh, so I, I went out, I, I started boxing, but by that time I had one fight and I thought, I started my own business. I was a single father with, uh, I, was a, I was a father with one child at the time and, uh, it was like, do I do this or do I dedicate myself to boxing? And I knew I couldn't dedicate myself to boxing as I started my own business as well. And so I focused on that. And then I got in to start training my friend who we both started boxing together. And I, one thing led to another. I started training him. Uh, then I started promoting. And uh, the rest is history. I just I fell in love with it. And then in 2013, years ahead, uh, 1995 was the first show. 1994 was the first show okay. I did. 2013, you know, uh, 10 years, almost 10 years ahead, uh, I took, no, more than 10 years, almost uh, 15 years. Uh, I took and started working with Al Heyman, uh, who runs PBC, and uh, started promoting shows, and it just took off. I mean, I was doing, uh, one year in 2016, I did 33 TV shows. Wow. So, <laughs> so it was insane. Uh, but I love it. I, you know, I, uh, I love the challenge. I love everything about it, and I love the competitiveness. But more than anything, I think if I would quit today, I would miss the people. And yeah. you know, I'm a people person. I love people, and so I think I would miss the people more than anything. Well, Marshall, we want to thank you for. I know you're busy. I know there's a lot of stuff going on. We we want to thank you for uh, first of all bringing Ring Wars Nine here to El Paso and bringing your promotion as well. And uh, message to the fans: What can we expect on Friday at the El Paso County Coliseum? Fireworks, fireworks. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. Look, and the fight that you really want to keep your eye on is Amy Salinas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We just I, talked to her as well. Alexis Monis. Yep. That's going to be a fight. You know, it really is. Uh, both girls I have signed. Uh, Alexis Monas comes from a big amateur background, as does Amy. Uh, Amy didn't look as great her last fight. So, you know, they always say you're only as good as your last fight in boxing. But that's going to be a fight. You know, that's the fight in my book. That's going to be the fight of the night. And, of course, all this is taking place on Friday. Once again, Marshall Coffin, thank you so much from King's Promotions. Happening Friday night, it's Ring Wars 9 at the El Paso County Coliseum. EP Sports Network coverage continues in a bit.